In the second gig, it is revealed that Goda is manipulating the refugee crisis through the creation of standalone complexes, using the mass media to help sculpt the public sense of perception regarding the situation. Goda then plans in defecting to the American Empire as his skills could be of great service to them, seeking political asylum just before being stopped by the Major. As noted in his book The Power Elite, C. Wright Mills notes that society is run by several powerful elite sectors, a place where corporations control the social consensus of society, along with powerful groups of people. There is the military-driven war economy that will be used to fuel capitalism for the coming future. There are the powerless citizens, aspiring to attain power for themselves, assimilating to become more and more like the elites that they are taught to love. There are the stars and Hollywood celebrities that entice their eyes and imaginations. There is the status and distinction associated with having an Ivy League education, and there is the constant aspect of political manipulation, which is seen and expressed through the powerful mass media stations, which are influential enough to successfully skew the public sense of perception. To Mills, a person is socialized based on how well they can model themselves based on said elites in society. The elite to Mills will use a continual war economy to continue capitalism, creating an illusion of political order through the mass media. In a similar line of thought, it was Chomsky in his work Necessary Illusions and Manufacturing Consent that note that for political purposes, the mass media is often used to distract the masses through the process of propaganda, helping said elites maintain a sense of order and complacency as an end result, preventing true democracy from flourishing. In a sense, the media pushes the dominant ideologies of said members of society through a propagandized program, which citizens then internalize to be true. In a way, Goethe uses the media in very much the same way that is posed by Chomsky and Mills, using it as a means to manipulate the public's thinking, conforming them to whatever status quo he sculpts. When Matoko speaks to Goethe, she informs him of this, telling him that he is manipulating the thinking of the general public, on which Goethe replies that it's necessary to guide the people's thinking. The ends justify the means, as they say. Much like how Chomsky proposed, it is these necessary illusions that are needed to guide the people's thinking in order to control and manipulate them to one's will. Perhaps in all of this, we would all do well to take a page from Immanuel Kant's categorical imperative, which states, Act in such a way that you treat humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of any other, never merely as a means to an end.